Well, I finally did it. Let me show you my invention here in a second. Uh, the main drawbacks of the ferro cell are A, you need LED strip lighting, which is not relatively that cheap. B, you have to have an encasing for it. C, obviously it has to be fed by power, so you're tied to the wall. D, you have to have an encasement because obviously shooting LED lights into the uh, supercell is not the problem, rather blocking off all the spurious light from shooting into your eyeball is a serious problem. So you have to have, this was a 3D printed, this a plastic casing here. So that's, that's really 90% of the cost of a supercell magnetic viewing device. I had a flash of brilliance, like I got shot in the head or in the brain. And then I came up with this uh, the other day. I want to show it to you. Right now I actually have just a, a, a ferro cell, a super cell, in the center here. What this is is a, a $3 sheet of uh, plexiglass. You could use regular glass, which is fine, but I mean obviously this isn't going to break. It's flexible. And uh, this is obviously just a piece of uh, construction paper, black. There's obviously a pinhole here since I used the compass to cover up the pinhole so the light didn't shoot through. And what I did is I actually placed it here, used uh, this, this uh, 3M ducting tape. It's actually made out of real aluminum. Peeled the backing off. I set it in place, okay, and then covered it so there's no light coming in. Hold on a second, wait for it. So all the light is actually coming in and it's actually hitting the angle that we actually have here, the angle and shooting in to the edge of the supercell. Obviously this blocks out the light coming directly from underneath. So, this does not need batteries. It does not need a uh, plug to the wall, nothing. No batteries, no wall power, nothing. Three ways I found that it works beautifully. I'm sorry, I'm actually videotaping this uh, handheld. Is I've actually tried a flashlight. And I don't need to be that close. I uh, got one of these at uh, Home Depot ages ago. They're like $20. It's incredibly bright. What I can actually do is actually prop this light up like this and step back from it like two or three feet. Well, obviously this side. Place the magnet on top or on the bottom this far away. Like I'm reading a book. So I can actually sit here up against my face and look in the magnetic field with the magnet either on top or bottom or a magnet on top and on bottom because this light source is so insanely bright. All I'm doing is blocking it. Here's the other thing. I created this three days ago. Yesterday when I had bright sun, obviously if you hold like an eight by 10 book, which is, this is eight by 10, hold this and a place of this about two or three feet between you and the bright sun, obviously it's gonna block out the sun. This works off of bright sunlight. Let me repeat, this works off of bright sunlight. So if someone, like, you know, wanted to go out into nature, have this to show somebody, you don't need a power source. All you need is the magnet and this, and you just hold this up against the bright sun from about, you know, two or three feet away. Just point this directly at the sun, put the magnet in front of it or behind it, the light will pour in around the corners into the edge of the glass, shooting inwards, and the magnetic field behind here or on top will give you... It's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. No one has ever created a sunlight-driven magnetic viewing device before, and this goddamn works. A sunlight, no battery, no wall power, nothing. Uh, obviously indoors, no problem. Wow. Absolutely unbelievable. So here's my invention. I'm calling it the ferro plate. And uh, you know how long it took me to make this? Now that it took a five dollar, uh, well actually two minutes, three dollar sheet of plexiglass. Okay, piece of black construction paper, no cost at all. I have a roll of this stuff which I use for photography. is 3M ducting tape, which you can get at any hardware store. So three dollars. 30 cents of aluminum ducting tape. The uh, the ferro, the ferro, uh, the, the, the supercell, which I obviously assume you'd already have, or you can make one. You can even make it out of plate glass. And I'll show you how that, to do that in another video. This is amazing. This actually works off of bright sunlight. You could stick this in my backpack. I could go out outdoors to a crowd of people and say, here, hold this in your hand, stick a magnet on top of it or behind it, Hold it up to the sun and be the first person to witness what magnetism really looks like under sunlight. 
unbelievable. Congratulations to me. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Yes, absolutely brilliant. And this is as simple as a post-it note. This is brilliant. You might not think that this is brilliant. A magnetic viewer that works off of bright sunlight. And if I want to turn this on, which I can show you. I don't know if I have it plugged in right now. I don't have it plugged in. Anyway, it's incredibly bright. I just sit back with this about three feet away, like so. Bring it up to my face and uh, view the field. Amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you do, please uh, drop a donation below. Because um, I don't sell anything and any sort of uh, tip is greatly appreciated. This is... This is, this is wonderful. So happy right now, actually. So happy. I created this uh, three days ago. I thought about holding off on showing it to people. I thought about actually holding off until my, uh, my uh, lecture in July in Idaho, but uh, I, I really want to show everybody now. It's brilliant. Thank you so much. Goodbye.